stuff. All right. Hey, you know, some people get cats, others get dogs. Usually they pick them out at the pound or at the pet store. But our friend Steve right here, yeah. well, he got his new buddy in a very different way. Take a look. This rooster, who is dubbed Frank, turned up in Steve's driveway. That's Steve's garage right there. He turned up on Saturday. He has taken up residence. Steve, he's just... He owns the place now. You want to elaborate well, on, on Frank here? It's kind of nutty. I heard him on Friday in the woods before I came to work and, you know, thought it was odd to hear a rooster. <laughs> and then Saturday he showed up and he has been basically centering his new residency on my property. Now, he is straying to the neighbors. I talked to my, uh, my neighbor, Renee. He's cheating on you. He's cheating a little bit, oh. yeah. He's hitting some of the other houses on the cul-de-sac. But it's the craziest thing. He sleeps on this wall I have that's adjacent to my garage. I expect he'll be there when I get home. Um, <laughs> I don't know why he's there. I don't know why why he's not leaving, but uh, apparently they eat a lot of bugs, and I think that's what he's been feasting on uh, the past couple of days. Man, uh, you I, check. There's one farm nearby, but he didn't come from there, We right? did check with that farm, and it's not theirs. Um, you know, it's a residential area, so, you know, the running theory is, you know, maybe somebody dumped him close by, and he mm. just found his way in. Um, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's behind the wall. <laughs> All right, we're out of time, I guess, but I, I love that. Well, good luck. Thanks. It's nice to have a friend.